happy Easter. So you Capricorns have got the Queen of Wands, the King of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, King of Wands, the Five of Swords, the Moon, the Nine of Cups, the Magician, the Star, and last but not least, you have the Six of Pentacles. So for you uh, Capricorns, the Queen of Wands, the, the, uh, the King of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles are all about how, since this is the case, um, you just need to understand that what you've got going on is you Capricorns, you got some, you got some knuckleheaded people trying to get at you. <laughs> the King of Wands, the Five of Swords is about how um, you are getting to know, you, you're, you were getting to know somebody who essentially was really starting to get on your nerves because the two of y'all exchanged numbers or maybe you gave them your number. They contacted you, but the only problem is, is that here they go with the nonsense, right? Immediately trying to play games, immediately, you know, you got to do way more. You know, they act like, <laughs> you know, they act like, you know, you have to talk to them, you know, and the, and the truth is, it's really because they're socially awkward. You know, people who you got to understand Capricorn, like the people who play those types of games or whatnot, they're all of them without exception are socially awkward. All of them are socially awkward. There's no exception to that because the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles is here. You are showing them interest, right? And the King of Wands, the Five of Swords, you can't you can hardly get them on the phone, even if they do get on the phone or like they text or something like this. They barely text. Those are people who are not very good conversationalists because they haven't really worked on their conversational skills because they're used to being they're used to jumping from pillow to post on either side. They're not really they're not. <laughs> They're not really accustomed to actually, you know, getting to know somebody on a one-to-one -one personal interconnected basis, Capricorn. So as a result of this, you got to understand that it can make some people pretty awkward sometimes. And the thing is that the Queen of Wands represents, you have the Queen of Wands and you have the King of Wands, right? The King of Wands is them. The Queen of Wands is you. For you, Capricorns, this is about you um, essentially really dissolving the relationship because you really getting irritated by how they interacted with you. It was like trying to pull teeth in order for the two of you to interact. They would, they would go out of their way to make things much more frustrating than what it had to be. And a lot of you Capricorns obviously didn't like that. So the moon... The Nine of Cups now represents. So because of this, right, this was about how, um, or I should say the moon is about how you ghosted them, right? Or they may have ghosted, they may have ghosted you. But regardless of whether you ghosted them or they ghosted you, the Nine of Cups, you, <laughs> you Capricorns are okay with that, regardless of who ghosted whom. Because if they ghosted you, cool. If they, it, you know, you wanted to ghost them anyway. You wanted to stop talking to them anyway. And if you ghosted them, cool. You you know, you just effectively carried out what it is that you always wanted to do because you didn't want to talk to them in the first place uh, for a while. I ain't gonna say in the first place, but you didn't want to talk to them for a while. And then you have the magician. The magician now represents because you're eventually gonna go start talking to other people, right? It's, it's, they were one of those types of people where um, they, they, their trouble, they're way more than their, you know what I mean? Their, their trouble outweighs their benefit to you and to even themselves, you know, because we're talking about value here. And they're coming in with all of this arrogance, with all of this acting like they're so sure of themselves, but then they sound stupid because, and they look stupid because they're very much so a, a novice, an amateur, 
in a lot of different things. They they don't actually know what it is that they're talking about. You know, they they act like you have to they they act like they're playing hard to get when you Capricorns know that that's one of their games. One of the biggest games in the world is when people try to play like they are hard to get. Oh my gosh. That that nonsense when people try to play like they're hard to get and all that stuff that those types of games capricorn that's only for the dubbed that's only for the weak and i can show and prove that's only for the weak the that is that is for the weak the the star and the the star and the six of pentacles right the this represents how um because secretly on the inside, you know, you know, it's so goofy about it. Secretly, the star card, right, and the six of pentacles, they want to be in a relationship with you. This is this is the evidence right here. This is the proof of why it is I told y'all that it's for the weak. Because if you really have something to do, you're not, you're not going to sit up there and act like you're busy. You're going to actually be busy. Straight up. So, so the mere fact that they had to act like they were playing hard to get, this is just evidence that how goofy they are because they thought that them somehow acting like they were hard to get would raise their value to get you Capricorns to try harder to talk to them. When what it really did was turn you off and it made them look stupid. Even though on the inside they hope that you Capricorns continue to try to get to know them so that the, so that they can finally be in a relationship potentially long term because that's another secret that they're not telling you too people who try to play that hard to get game don't really last in relationships as well <laughs> let's clarify some of these cards Let's clarify the magician. You have the four of wands, the five of wands, the nine of cups, and the moon. So to clarify the magician, we have the uh, four of wands and five of wands. <laughs> you were trying to get to know them directly, but they were they were being they were playing games. So now <laughs> the nine of cups and the moon represents you Capricorns are stepping off from them. This is their loss. They, they're stupid. <laughs> because they should have, because if they had, this is what I'm talking about. The star and the six of pentacles. If they really wanted to be in a relationship with you Capricorns in the first place, and they do, they should have just they right it's you capricorns had to ghost them in order for them to hope that you would come back because you're done with them but it's so stupid because if they really liked you why the, why couldn't they just be in a relationship with you in the first place why didn't they just do that and that's the stupidity of it all so so to now let's clarify the <laughs> the star so to clarify the star card now, we have the six of cups, eight of swords, three of pentacles, mm, nine of wands. This is what it is that I'm talking about. All that playing uh, hard to get stuff was a front like I told y'all. You know why the six of pentacles and the eight of swords? If they're so hard to get and, and they don't need you, six of cups, why are they coming back trying to call you again? Capricorn, why are they coming back trying to get you on the phone? Hey, Capricorns, what's going on with you? How are y'all? You could talk. Being all polite now. The Eight of Swords, because they don't, they're socially awkward. Eight of Swords, they don't, the Eight of Swords is about being tied, wrapped up. They don't know how to communicate. They are, so, they are socially awkward. So because of their social awkwardness, they thought, well, if they just play the game of trying to act like they 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 so hard to get that somehow that would reel you in and it backfired it obviously didn't work so the uh three of pentacles now and the night the knight of wands is about so now they have a choice they have to really settle down come back to reality 
and get to know you. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And they know that. 